Okay, Google, man. Can I take some spin as well, like Bam Bam? Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to PBM Vlogs and today we got another quick unboxing for you guys from Fastlane RC. We got the little XLF Racer XPS. All right, if you couldn't tell from my other videos, I'm pretty big in the RC stuff. I was just looking for a little car that wasn't that expensive to play around with my little three-year-old. Something that's pretty fast and fun, not off-road, but just something to zip around when we're bored or something like that. I found this little car by Fastlane RC. I haven't used them before. I saw some stuff online. It looks pretty good. I didn't see any reviews on this car of how I really wanted to see how the product was. So I decided to do a quick unboxing before we go take it out. We'll set it up real quick. It's not that hard. It's real easy. It just needs batteries and just the controller and the car. But let's just go over the stats real quick. All right, guys. We got here the Fast Lane Extra Performance Series 124th Scale Radio Controlled Vehicle FLX Racer. This is the one we got. You can find them anywhere from 10 to 12 bucks, under 15 bucks for sure. The info they got here, it's a 124th scale, it's less than a pound, it goes about 9 miles an hour. Fully functional controller, about 160 feet away, it operates at 2.4 gigahertz, requires 3 AA's and 2 AA batteries, and they say ages 8 and up. Eh, probably a kid around 3 or 4 is fine if you ask me. Kids are pretty smart these days. Now I should be able to use mostly indoors, probably not on a regular carpet, probably on the shorter or industrial carpet will probably do well and on any of the floors it has spongy wheels if you remember me saying so should be okay on the kitchen or wood floors I'm not recommending it but it should be fine we'll find out when we go to the gym today but it looks like it'll be pretty good on floors and won't we'll mark them up but let's just unbox this thing all right cool let's get this open nothing in here there's the box So let's just get these off real quick. Cool. Looks like we got the battery compartment on the bottom here. Trim for the steering on the bottom. There's the car turning. This controller feels pretty light. Feels pretty cheap, but should do the job, hopefully. Batteries go under there. Steering here. There's your forward and reverse. And let's just get the batteries in there. I think we need three double A's and two triple A's. You're gonna need a Phillips screwdriver for this, that's about it. So let's open this up. Here's the opening from the bottom of the car. We got one, two, three double A's, triple A's, three duck triple A's. <laughs> one triple A, two triple A, and three. Cover that back up. Ah, there we go, that should be ready to go. One screw on the bottom here. One in there. Cool, that light is on. There's no on button for this. The light pairs up. Let's see. I'm gonna turn it on. All right, let's see. Oh, all right, it goes. Oh, that sounds like it'll be fast. The wheels feel kind of foamy, rubbery. Should be okay on the floors. Let's see the acceleration on it. Ooh, it's pretty fast. <laughs> cool, we'll pack this up. Let's go see how much fun this thing really is.
got the little car out here in the parking lot. We'll see how it does on the concrete and the gravel. It was pretty fun inside. A little build up on the dust. It's got soft wheels in the back, so it kept spinning out. But once you clean them off, it runs pretty well. But let's check it out and see how it does outside. 